a century, Mercedes-Benz has led the way in the evolution of the automobile and has always set the engineering standard. As Mercedes-Benz leads the car into its second century, we present an insight into the philosophy that drives this exceptional company. The best or nothing. It was Gottlieb Daimler who demonstrated the first four-wheel motor car, and it was Daimler who established the philosophy that has guided every Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. Carl Benz patented the petrol car in 1886, and Benz's obsession was in perfecting engineering advances. Together, Daimler and Benz possessed the most advanced automotive knowledge of their day, and their invention changed the world forever. With the success of Daimler's products, Emil Jelinek was appointed as the first distributor and he named the cars Mercedes after his beautiful daughter. Thus, Mercedes-Benz was born. The inspiration of the company's founders was indelibly imprinted. Daimler won the first ever automobile race. Racing triumphs and speed records always had a single-minded purpose. Technical innovation to create a better car for every driver. Victories have come to Mercedes in over 4,000 competition events. And the drivers have become almost as legendary as the mark itself. Rudolf Caricciola, Herman Lang, Von Brautisch, Seaman, team manager Neubauer, and the remarkable W125 Silver Arrow Grand Prix cars from Stuttgart. Mercedes-Benz also succeeded in breaking the land speed record on an autobahn with an ice-cooled 12-cylinder car driven by the brave Caracciola. The speed, 432.7 kilometers per hour. The engineers continually push back the limits of the automobile. Victory followed victory as the silver cars dominated the Grand Prix circuits of the world. Then, from the beginning of the war, and for the following 15 years, Mercedes-Benz was not able to race. But as the company was gradually rebuilt, the three-pointed star was again to be seen on the finest road-going cars. A return to racing in 1954 surprised the motoring world. It was a year of astounding success after such a long break from the tracks. The cars swept to victory in five of the seven Grand Prix throughout the year. In the very first race, the great Juan Manuel Fangio, first. Carl Kling, second. Fangio was soon world champion for Mercedes. Rallying has also been used extensively to further the durability and efficiency of road cars, so that a Mercedes-Benz will last long after lesser cars have been discarded. The toughness and integrity of Mercedes-Benz has come through the rigorous testing of its products in competition. In the London to Sydney rally, the most gruelling ever, Mercedes-Benz won and filled no less than four of the first ten places. Today, the 190E 16-valve saloons compete strongly in European saloon racing, seen here at Nürburgring. Just as racing and rallying has taken Mercedes to leadership, so has the company's preoccupation with safety engineering. Mercedes-Benz patented the passenger safety cell 
and gave the right to that patent free to all other manufacturers so that lives would be saved on the world's roads. There is no higher priority than safety and the company works constantly to make the safest cars in the world. Their achievements can be found in all Mercedes-Benz because there are 120 safety features built into every car. Many are hidden from view, but they include the standard equipment pre-tensioning device that tightens seat belts automatically in a collision. The door locks that are unburstable. The ABS computer control braking system is standard in many models, and the life-saving airbag can now be ordered in all Mercedes-Benz passenger cars. The C111 experimental car, here breaking nine world speed endurance records, underlines today's advanced technology. Many manufacturers make claims about technology, but it is invariably the intensive exploration by Mercedes-Benz engineers that make the significant advances. For instance, the world's first computerized driving simulator was developed in Berlin in 1984 by Mercedes-Benz. The driver can experience every possible world road condition and feels the precise G-forces in the car. He can test handling, braking, load factors, acceleration. Today, computer science is performing much of the development and testing that was once done through racing and rallying. And Mercedes models in the future will have a computer-controlled four-wheel drive system for a new standard of traction. They're already being driven in Stuttgart, as this Beyond 2000 report shows. Well, that's exactly the way that most cars on the road today would react to icy or slippery conditions. With no traction on any of the wheels, the car is thrown into a spin. And at high speed, that spin could be deadly. But this rather conventional looking car, although luxurious, is different. It comes equipped with an artificial intelligence package that allows the car to read the road conditions by itself and to drive itself out of almost any difficulty. Formatic, the computer-controlled four-wheel drive system, is a significant advance on conventional four-wheel drives. Without Formatic, the car loses traction on the skid pad. Now with Formatic automatically supplying the appropriate percentage of power to each of the four wheels, the car remains in perfect control. In ice and snow, electronic sensors make a revolutionary difference to traction levels. The car on the left with conventional drive, the other with Formatic. Another breakthrough in technology is the driver information system of automatic navigation. It is in advanced stages of development. The driver will simply choose the electronic map for the route he wishes to travel. Every street and turn is held in the memory of the electronic map and appears on the dashboard readout. And the navigation guides the driver precisely to his destination. Just as advanced are today's production techniques, filmed at Bremen. Pioneering work on precision robotics has led to a new standard of quality and consistency in car body assembly. Every Mercedes is welded in over 4,000 places for torsional strength. The robots undertake the repetitive toil of manufacture and Mercedes-Benz staff hand finish every detail of every car with traditional pride and care. 
60 Minutes, Australia's most watched current affairs program, filed a report on the company's continuing and unparalleled success during a time of world economic downturn. The program included a discussion at the Stuttgart factory with Dr. Gerhard Lina, who had this to say. Uh, I think that we have uh, at all times uh, put much more emphasis on quality in production uh, than the Detroit industry has. Dr. Lina is one of the board directors of Daimler-Benz. The image is, uh, is not something uh, which is God-given. We have to take care that all the employees are at all times aware that every one of them contributes to maintain the good image of our company and of our trademark. minutes visited the famous Mercedes Museum at the Stuttgart factory before interviewing the director of research and development. Mr. Daimler and Mr. Benz are the fathers of the automobile and uh, so we think we have not the target to uh, build the cheapest cars but uh, we think we have to build the best cars and the best trucks in the world. The research and development department employs 10,000 scientists and engineers, and their brief is to lead world development of the automobile. 60 Minutes asked Dr. Lina to predict the future of Mercedes-Benz, 50 years down the road. I am pretty sure that in 50 years' time, Mercedes is still on the top. And Mercedes-Benz is also on top in Australia, with clear market leadership. It is leadership based on a value package that cannot be equaled. The owner is backed by the breadth of over 100 authorised dealers throughout the country. Service and spare part support is by far the most comprehensive and the two-year unlimited kilometer warranties on both new and approved used cars are the envy of the automotive industry. There is one irrefutable difference between Mercedes-Benz and all other saloons, return on investment. Glass's dealer guide, the industry authority, shows Mercedes-Benz consistently retain an exceptionally high percentage of the original purchase price. There can be no better guide to in-depth engineering quality. Today, the cars carrying the three-pointed star lead in automotive technology and in sheer driving satisfaction. The Compact 190 class, without doubt the finest compact car that the world has seen in the history of the automobile. The mid-range 230-300 class, recognized by the motoring press as the most advanced saloons in the world. And the S-class saloons in a class of their own. So right from the very start in 1886, Mercedes-Benz has always led the way in the evolutionary process of the car and has always set the engineering standard. Today, Mercedes-Benz engineers continue relentlessly to push back the boundaries of technology and the company recommits itself to its founding credo, the best or nothing. However, no list of achievements or attributes can ever match the sheer satisfaction of driving a Mercedes-Benz. That pleasure awaits you at an authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer now. <laughs>